but it is still the Easter holidays. There's a precious few more days before homeschooling has to start again. Keeping things fresh, staying positive and creative can be a bit of a struggle. So we've got two guests to reinvigorate your Easter holiday plans. Joining us now via Skype, I'm very pleased to say. Uh, we have Andy Cope, who is a doctor of happiness, and Steve Backshaw, the explorer and wildlife presenter. Good afternoon to you both. Hello, how are you doing? Ah, just the kind of positivity I expected for both of you. This is you all need to be reinvigorated halfway through the Easter holidays. Um, Dr. Andy, it's an interesting time, isn't it? Because parents and children all under one roof, 24-7. Many haven't got outside space. What are the top for keeping upbeat, keeping positive? Yeah, I think, um, obviously, I put my happy T-shirt on for you today just to kind of remind everybody there is a world shortage of happiness at the moment, <laughs> and I understand that. So I think just to set the context, there's, in fact, there's an old English word from the 18th century, a grinagogue, and a grinagogue is somebody who's so happy you wanted to punch their lights out. So I'm not in that territory, but I have spent the last 12 years researching happy people. So my job at Loughborough Uni was to seek out happy people, follow them around and work out why they're so happy. And I think you, you've hit the nail on the head there in terms of families being... Um, thrown together and cooped up. We're all feeling a bit cooped up. And although you love the people you cooped up with, hopefully, they start to niggle you, don't they? So can I can I give you a top tip before you hand over to Steve for his? And it's it's um, it's a slightly weird one. There's a there's um, a Buddhist phrase called vipassana vendetta, which basically means the magnification of tiny little irritations into full blown anger. So what that means is that your day isn't ruined by one big thing; it's ruined by lots of little things that gradually accumulate. And when you're cooped up together, even though you love the people, then they start to irritate and niggle you. So here's a top tip, um, and that is that next time the comments come and somebody does something or says something out of order, instead of having to go back at them, just consciously and deliberately let it go. Just don't respond. Just just let that one go and I liken it um, to a bit like a cricket test match so it's a gloriously slow five-day cricket test match and the reason it lasts five days is the batsman or batswoman doesn't have to hit every ball so quite often they'll lean back and the ball will sail through to the wicket keeper and the analogy I think in, when you're cooped up is a little bit like that so next time you're feeling niggled which you will and you want to snap back just think of I'm going to let that comment just pass by I don't need to ruin the atmosphere by by getting niggled with the people I love Like that, just let it go, just let that one pass. And Steve, I'll come over to you. It's quite interesting because you've really stepped up during this lockdown in bringing the outside indoors because, of course, that's what kids miss so much getting outside, whether it's just running about or exploring nature. Uh, what have you been doing to, to, to bring that to children and their parents over the last week or so? Yeah, it's, it's so true. Uh, what I've been doing is I've been uh, doing actually for nearly a month now live lessons on a Wednesday morning at 9.30, which started just as a was massive. I mean, 400,000 households tuning in at one point that I've had to develop it slightly. So now what I'm doing is a bunch of wildlife makes, so things that people can do at home to bring wildlife into their gardens or into their window box, if, if that's what they've got. Uh, and also I've now uh, got cameras all over the garden and over the local badger sets and over the, the local nesting swans so that I can almost create a mini spring watch uh, on my YouTube channel and people can see spring as it happens. You know, if we're being cheated from that connection that we would normally have at this time of year to the arrival of different kinds of birds, the nesting of other kinds of birds, then hopefully I can bring a small piece of that uh, into youngsters' homes and they can connect with me and ask me questions and I can try and, you know, at least give them a sense of what's going on here. Because I'm very lucky I get to live alongside the river. And, and, you know, this is prime time for wildlife. Yeah, I'm very impressed with you set cameras over nests and by river. It took me days to set up this one camera in my front room that, fingers crossed, is still working. And, um, Dr Andy, I'll come back to you. Um, something I'm sure parents will have heard a lot over the last few weeks is I'm bored. How do you combat that? Yeah, I think, well, there's lots of things you can do, I think. I mean, Steve's absolutely right. He's, I know social distances is difficult, but getting outdoors is one of the keys to happiness, you know, the fresh air. And, I, and Steve, I don't know if it's, I've just tweeted something about, I don't know if there really are more bumblebees and more celandines and more blossom than ever before, or whether I'm just noticing them. I've slowed down enough to notice them more than ever before. I'm not sure, but it certainly seems like the most amazing spring ever. 
Um, I think gratitude is a big one, Sarah Jane. Gratitude comes out of every bit of happiness research ever done. And if you want to entertain your kids, just get a pen and paper and get them to write down 50 things that they really appreciate, but they take for granted. In fact, you can do it as well as a parent. So 50 things. And, and I, if I was to hazard a guess, I would probably put that your health and relationships will be at the top. And then all sorts of weird and wonderful things will creep into that list. And what happens is what you'll find is most people spend a massive amount of their life moaning about what they haven't got. Whereas to be truly happy uh, is, is I, gratitude. I describe it like fertilizer for happiness. If you can look at that list and look at what you have got, then that gives you a different perspective. Um, Steve, just finally, we've got 30 seconds left. Uh, what can people find out when they watch you this week? Obviously, you talked about all these new cameras and what they can see. What will they be doing with you this week? 30 seconds. Well, we have a lot of opportunities to find out about fossils, how they got there, what they tell us about the world and how it was formed. We've got skulls and they can tell us a whole bunch about predators, how they see, how they feed. Uh, we've even got some live animals as well and my cameras which will be showing you our swans which have just started nesting and other wildlife wonders like this gorgeous Ooh. praying mantis you see that oh, <laughs> it is live tv um, mark austin's up next